Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of NDNWS. I'm your reporter, Carter Haas, and meteorologist, Carter Haas, bringing you all the weather information I can. And uh, right now, I got a lot of explaining to do. A low pressure system is moving its way in, and we're going to see a major winter storm. Well, maybe not major, but a winter storm itself, which, living in North Dakota, you know, it's something we need to worry about. So let's talk about road closures really quick. I-29, I'm expecting that to be mostly closed. I-94, part of, parts of it could be closed or just no travel advisory for both of them, if that makes sense. And then uh, small roads, kind of, you know, country roads, county roads, and a little bit of highways throughout the state, throughout the um, northeast and a little bit south part of the state in the uh, metro area, as they call it, by Minnesota, if that makes sense, that there a, a lot of those roads could be closed or no travel advised. Now, here's the big thing with this storm. A wind, the wind is going to be a very major player in the storm right now because we are under winter storm watch and uh, in Valley City, that is, in Fargo and Jamestown. But the farther you go up north, they're under winter storm warning. Do I expect us to be under winter storm warning? Yes, 100%, and definitely I do. But um, what you can do is any weather conditions, report them to the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, and I can help them make major decisions about blizzards, winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories. So you can be be an observer and meteorologist yourself if you want to. Now let's break down this storm. The wind is going to be a major factor in this. Wind gusts could gust over 50 miles an hour, and uh, just the normal wind speed without gusting is 35 miles per hour, which does mean that blizzard conditions are expected. Now, wind is a big major player, but snow is too. It has to snow at a certain rate of inches per hour, which I'm expecting it to do that tonight on to Sunday and, excuse me, tonight into Sunday and then a little bit into Monday, we could see some snow as well. Now, really, it's, it's gonna be a lot of snow. I expect us some isolated areas, 15 miles north of Valley City, Fargo, and Jamestown in that area, isolated pockets of seven to maybe even nine inches. But other than that, expect at least four to six inches where you live. With that wind, it's gonna drift, it's gonna get nasty. You already know what's gonna happen. So get the snow blowers ready, get the shovels ready, get the plows ready, because stuff is gonna happen. Now, majorly speaking, I, I am expecting a blizzard uh, warning to occur or at least a blizzard watch because they believe that it's going to be expected but then it might not. It's just very possible. The temperatures playing in this storm are pretty much going to fit with it. There are going to be times where it gets warmer and that snow doesn't necessarily stick to the ground but most part it should. Yet on the bottom it's going to be sticky, on the top it's going to be fluffy so if you shovel early you're not going to have to worry about breaking your back while trying to shovel the snow. For now, for all you yellow snow eaters out there, expect to be able to eat some. Do I recommend it? No. Do I judge you? No. <laughs> all right, other than that, there's not much more I can say about this storm rather than it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be nasty, it's gonna be a lot of snow, really high winds, and it's gonna be tonight into Sunday and maybe even Monday. So expect a lot of your plans to be canceled and uh, expect this storm to be a pretty big winter storm. And. Uh, a lot of you kids are going to be able to go sledding. I'll talk to you guys later and keep giving you updates. There's not much more I can update on, but I'm trying my hardest to get the latest information to you guys and exclusive information to you guys. Have a good day.